coat unless you can. We wanted the characters to appear further apart than was possible on this set, especially with a creak, an element that can't move. Add to that the usual movement restrictions, the perch, the strings, camera movement on a tight set, and simple ideas became much more complicated. Get him, get him where you guys are thinking and let me see if I, I can do what I need there. Are you looking? Yes, I am looking. We should get Rocinante looking downstage towards where Don Quixote is. So, can you? You mean the butt being on the other side? Yeah, butt being on the other side. Head. Can you more do like this, this Eugene? Like With him? Like this? No, oh, no, we can't okay, because of this. Yeah, because this, the plank is in the back. It hits okay. the plank. Other than that, if he's that perpendicular this way to the path, he can't go any farther back without moving the plank. Oh, all right, challenger. Um, what I'd like to happen is for them to cross and then for Rosinante to be left in frame, which would require you guys to go over this way or for us to move Rosinante over that way. Or... Action! Shooting Don Quixote's charge and Rosinante's fall was especially challenging in this scene. We had to transpose a small, inadequate space into an area where the horse could accelerate, trip, and slide. And to complicate matters, 20 gallons of water was rushing through the scene. Water is a dangerous element to work with on a cramped, electrically charged set. What do you want off? The, the, the left hand off the reins, remember? Yeah. And the two stirrups. And we can, oops, what's wrong? Oops. He's caught on the string. The scene was a nightmare for Eugene, our brilliant Action. puppet maker, because of the abuse we put his puppets through. <laughs> 